be prepared for highly offensive language throughout and adult and sexual themes. Hi guys, you've joined me here in Rose Cottage where everything seems to be half tidy, but our housemates might want to clean up a little bit more because two brand new housemates are entering the big brother house. What more could you want? Apart from Trisha Goddard passed out on a bed with gin and tonic, having a lovely time. God bless her soul. It's time for Bit on the Side. Come and Trish, dear. Gentlemen, uh, we have got a mystery egg dropper in our midst. Uh, well, we, we haven't really. We know who it is. They don't. It's Chanel, clearly. Uh, Tom got a bit uppity about his height or lack of it. Uh, and Rebecca got some more off her chest. Because Joe is a nasty, fucking, old, shitting, horrible man! And with the size of her chest, this could go on forever. Uh, we're going to be chatting about all the house drama in a minute and we're going to be showering you with exclusive house action, but not that type of... No. Uh, also on tonight's show... You stupid little woman, honestly. Thank you, dear. Kim Woodburn's back! Yeah! Uh, she's going to be showing us how to deal with a mess in the house, but now it is no secret that we have three brand-new house guests arriving, and, as ever, we've got all the exclusive. Bots caught up with Isabel, Sam and Savannah a little bit earlier on. This is what they have to say. I'm going to bring some new energy. Probably a little bit of Irish charm. I'm the man to bring that positivity and romance because I'm a bit of a flirt and a cheeky chap. They're all like very stuck in serious conversations and I think it needs a little live enough. And everyone just needs to like take a seat back. Everyone's quite hot, hot headed, I think it seems. On first impressions, I don't really like Tom. I'm not gonna lie, I've got my eye on Ellie. I think she's, I think she's a good looking girl. She's got a nice smile. Kieran is really cute and I like his personality as well. I can't imagine I'd be getting up to no good in the house. I mean, you know, you never know. I can't say yes or no, but we'll see. Although I know Marty's kissed him, so I think that's probably put me off things. <laughs> I'm not bothered about rejection. If you're scared of rejection, you're not going to get anywhere in the first place. So I'll just crack onto someone else. Well, there you have it. There are three newbies. Tonight, I'm going to be exclusively revealing the first of two of our housemates that are going to be going in. It's either Savannah, Sam or Isabel. But listen, time mate, waits for no man or woman, to be fair. Uh, so let's get on with the show and introduce yet another A-list panel to help you pick through the latest house action. First, it's Tuesday, which can mean only one thing. It's Trisha Tuesday! <laughs> He's flexing his comedy muscles and getting ready to knock us out with his wit. It's stand-up comedian and side-splitting Nathan Cater! Yeah! 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 And my final panellist used to be a semi-pro footballer. Allegedly. Uh, and tonight, his goal is to tackle the house action with the minimum amount of dribbling. I always have that effect on him, especially when we were naked in the pool at judges' houses in Dubai. It's Jake Diggenheim! didn't make the book. <laughs> All right, we've got so much to talk about, not least our second set of noms. Uh, nine of the Dirty Dozen uh, eligible to be nominated. Loughton, Raff and Kieran all received immunity last week, thanks to the VIPs. Uh, the casualty, though, seemed to have been Joe. He whipped up eight nominations. Did old Joe... Whoa. Our Trisha... Trisha's back, everyone, by the <laughs> way. Um, are you surprised that Joe got eight noms? I mean, no. he, he tried to be a bit of a leader of the house. Oh, I think he tried to... He, he got a bit aggro. He's getting a... He's getting to be a crotchety old man. Yes. Oh, he really? really? And, and how he was with Rebecca, I thought, was... And he went on and on and on and on. I know Rebecca did as well, but he had that nasty edge to him. Not a fan. Uh, give Nathan a round of applause. Your boss debut, Nathan. Well done. 
Easy, easy. You'll <laughs> never look back from this moment, let me tell you. Um, Joe only got two noms last week. Mm. This week he's got eight. Another six people have gone, don't like you, pretty much. How, how, how do you think that's happened? Uh, the Rebecca incident didn't help, I think. He's always had that edge to him. I think it's yeah. come out over the last week. Uh, but you know what? In his defence, not trying to defend him, but I'll just say playing devil's advocate, right? You are, you're trying to defend no, him. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you are. He's okay. He's so oh, 56, and he's in a house full of like 20, 30-year-olds. 56, about what? 85, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Stop it, it you're it is. Look, if, what? if I was living with like my mum and my grandma's friends, and I couldn't get out. I'd be pretty grumpy as well. What do you mean, your mum and your grandma? No, if, no, they're friends. Oh, and... he's wearing Trisha up, isn't he? Oh, oh, oh no, no, it's what a start to get diagnosed. He's, just... he's 56, he's three years younger than me. I can hang out with you and yeah. I... No, I'm, I'm, I'm playing the old advocate. I'm saying... There's a reason why he's getting grumpy and grumpy. Oh, I get what you're saying, yeah, Nate. Don't worry about Trish on her eye. Also, look at her over there. Uh, Jake, the biggest surprise I personally think was Kieran nominating Joe. Even after the argument, you know, he, he did try and step in and defend him. This... He gets on well with him. He looks up to him. Do you think this is his guilt talking about him going back on the Rebecca? Well, Joe, to me, is Lord Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's just like everyone's scared of him. Nobody really wants to speak his name in case he has a go at him. And with Kieran, like, I feel like Kieran got castrated just before he went in because he just... <laughs> if, if he was Rebecca's friend, he would have stuck up for Rebecca in that part. If I went in with one of my pals and they didn't stick up for me, I wouldn't be the pal again. Yeah. So I, I feel point. like Kieran, Kieran should have definitely stuck up for Rebecca. And if he had a problem with Joe, he should have said it to his face rather than go in the diary room and then yeah. just go. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think that's his way of sticking up for Rebecca? I, I think. I think he realised that he'd made a mistake when Rebecca, when he seen how upset Rebecca was. So then his way of dealing with that is then voting for Voldemort. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen. We say that 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 Rebecca row is what's got Joe the more noms, but Rebecca actually got one less nomination this week with five all in all. Trisha, do you think she's going to become? This year's housemate. I mean, it happens pretty much every year. That's always up for eviction every single bloody week. Yeah, I week. think she, I think she might do. She's unraveling. I mean, you know, again, we keep hearing her voice. It's like having a knitting needle stuck in your ear. Yeah. Isn't it? <laughs> don't try that at no, home. Don't, don't try that at home. <laughs> yeah. But she she goes on and on and on about it. So I think she will keep riling people. You think she will? Yep. Uh, let's move on to Hannah. She's up for eviction with three nominations this week. Deborah didn't get any. Um, Nath, are you surprised that that everyone's going for Hannah, but Deborah's not associated with it? Clearly, I'm not surprised because Hannah pushes buttons. Yeah. You know? mm. So like, I think she kind of she likes it. You know, yeah, like she's like Deborah's the, the cool, calm one. So like, if you got like two kids and you say, "Don't touch it," an electric socket, Deborah will be like, "Okay, don't do it." Hannah be like, "Why? What's going? What's going to happen?" What's gonna happen? <laughs> <laughs> Again, kids, don't put your fingers in yeah, plugs yeah, at home. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's going to be one of them shows, isn't it? <laughs> An educational show. Uh, Chanel also had three nominations. Jake, do you think she's going to be safe this week or yeah. do you think she's in yeah. danger? 100% safe. Yeah. Yeah. So. You I think really she like her. Yeah. Like, yeah. when she first went in and she started making those weird noises, I thought, <laughs> you're a bit strange. Yeah. But then she's grown on me as it's gone on because mm. she's down to earth, she's normal, she says that how it is, and she's just in there for a laugh, which the other people aren't. <laughs> No, I think, again, surprised people as well, especially with Chanel. Trish, she seemed to take the news really well, to be yes. fair. She took it pretty much on the gym. We saw her do that little speech later on, yeah, and yeah. she can oh, see she was just having a laugh. Yeah. Um, we can see she was just having a laugh, but are you surprised that she took it on the chin as much? No, she's grown, and I've said that every week. I, I'm amazed at how she's grown, and I think her little joke with the eggs just showed she took what could have been a bad situation and turned it on its head. So I think she, she's won a whole legion of new fans just because of that whole, you know, egg incident. Well, she's, she's trying to be like a little comedian in the house, yeah. to be fair. Um, but, Nath, do you think this could turn into sort of World War III with Chanel if she does keep doing these things and, more importantly, gets found out? Um, yeah, I think Adolf Hitler is in comparison to Chanel, yeah. Oh, God, what, <laughs> what a comparison that we don't get no, I, I, I think it's hilarious. I, at first, I was like, oh, don't do it, you're going to get yourself in trouble with the rest of the house, but it's yeah. actually really funny. She's yeah. bringing out other uh, characters, like, the real traits, you know, like Rebecca and Joe and stuff, and it's like, yeah, good on you, girl. Do you know what I've got to say? I love the fact that she didn't cave, either. She didn't yeah. say yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. I thought she might have gone, Hannah did it, it was me. <laughs> but she didn't. I loved the fact she just sat back and watched and went, this is terrible. <laughs> right, I loved it, proper staring it up. Um, you just mentioned Rebecca and Joe, actually. Uh, the dispute seems to be 
pretty much here to stay. Uh, we saw round two tonight, as you saw. Um, what do you make of Rebecca's meltdown, Jake? Because is she our new Nikki Graham? She, yeah, she, I think she, she, she's very over dramatic, isn't she? Let's be honest. But like I said, like when, when I, as I started watching it, I thought Joe seems all right, and he's kind of getting grumpier and grumpier, and she's getting more annoying and annoying. So it's like these two are just going to keep clashing because she annoys the hell out of him, mm. and he's a grumpy guy, and he's just going to keep having a go. So keep them both in. Keep them both in. Keep them both in. Well, look, we're going to be talking about them more a little bit later on, so let's move on to Hannah and Tom. Um, Trisha, no love lost between Hannah and Tom in tonight's show, no, was there? No, and Hannah, honestly, Tom is so vain. I don't know if you saw him, there was one particular scene when he spent the whole time doing his hair. It's not going on a night out, he's just standing there quaffing his hair. You know, so I think Hannah actually pushed his buttons by uh, referring to his height, cos he's definitely got little man syndrome. <laughs> 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 It was funny because uh, Tom was actually nominated by Deborah and Raph, yet it was Hannah who picked the fight with him and got personal. Jake, do you think Tom does suffer from exactly what Trisha says, like a little bit of little man syndrome? 100%. Like, he is Lowton's wannabe. Yeah. Really? He follows yeah. Lowton about. Yeah. He's Lowton's mini me, isn't he? And, and I wish he'd just stop saying he's going to smash the gaff up. Because oh. he hadn't done it once yet. He had Listen, these milk I say like all the time, you break it, yeah. you pay for yeah, but it. He, was right. like, he stood there with the milk like it's the end of the world, like, I'll do it. Just do it, then. <laughs> just just the milk, I'm not bothered. Um, we said it just now, Chanel called the house meeting. She tried to rig... Rid the house of negative vibes, guys. Oh, you know, we just like to hug. Yeah, That's what so we do. Oh, I loved it. Trisha, did you enjoy it? No. <laughs> I, threw, I threw up a little bit in my mouth when I watched that. Oh, I what mean, a lovely image. I know. It's because she think... was on the gin earlier. They are. They are. What's taken? No, I think she's watched too many US reality chat shows. <laughs> um, it was so fake. It was really yeah. funny. I don't know what she was trying to do there. Do you think she was having a laugh? Well, I yeah. think she was yeah. just yeah. trying to get a rise out of people. And it was quite fun watching them all pretending <laughs> to go along with it. And then not no one wanted to be the first one to react negatively. Well, do you know what? Like... Lowton actually said it's the fakest thing he's ever heard. Yeah. Jake, you actually know Lowton in real yeah, life. Didn't, didn't like you get your uh, kit off with him at one point? I didn't know. <laughs> Would you like to show us now? Do you want to show it off, Tommy? Tommy? I'll tell you what, mine's in charge for about 25p. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, Lowton's sound really is sound, and he's, he's a normal guy. He sh I, if anyone, I, I would have thought it, he would have known that she was pissing about, mm. but he took it a bit too serious. And I think the game is getting to him a little bit. Yeah. Mm. Like, I think he needs to just go back to square one, be Lowton, have a laugh, because he's a good lad, and just stop worrying about what anyone else is doing and just enjoy your time in there, because she was pissing about. Everyone knew mm. that. Yeah. Well, listen, on that note, give him a round of applause. That's nice. That's nice. I like that one. Uh, listen, if you'd like to be one of this lot, I don't know why, uh, you can join us in the box audience. The email is there. Email us at theatonthesides.com. All right, coming up after the break. You'd make a wonderful town crier. I know I would, dear. Kim Woodburn is back. She's going to be advising us on how to deal with the messy beggars in the house. Very topical with all those eggs on the kitchen floor. Uh, and listen, not forgetting our exclusive reveal of one of our brand new cast <laughs> Now, I can feel some negative vibes in here, guys. Woo! I can. So let's all reach out, guys. Hold hands, please. Hold hands. Let's think positive vibes. Let's all breathe in and out. OK, let's get rid of those bad thoughts, guys. Let's do it again. In, out. No, bollocks, cut that. It's doing nothing. <laughs> doing nothing for me. Trish, you're right, but that's nothing. That's nothing for me. All uh, right, we've got a bit of exclusive house action coming up, but it is now time for celebrity big brother ledge Kim Woodburn to show us what to do with those housemates who just won't pull their weight and clean up after themselves. Kim, give it to us! How do you do with lazy beggars who will not pull their weight and keep that house tidy? Is that serious? Who's is that pile of shit? There's no excuse. I'm going to tell you something. Don't deal with them. 
dirty, filthy pigs. <clears throat> Who keeps fucking smashing eggs on the fucking floor? Are you joking me? I clean it. Keep yourself clean. They want to live in filth. Let them live in it. Oh, God. Oh, oh. No, no, no. Oh, God, I've just chunked. Come and smell this. No, you're right. Please. Oh. Let them revel in their filth. They are gross. Oh, it's disgusting, this fucking house. How to deal with gang-handed people. In my opinion, it's more of you, Lowton, Tom, Rebecca, Ellie. That's the click. I don't mind. You can call it a click, call it what you want. You're my friend. We get on. I'm not. Do you know what I mean? Don't tolerate them. Ella, I hope you're going to make more of an effort with everyone else. Don't be someone like... I think it's a positive comment shadow. more than a negative you're one. You're your own yeah. person. Who's she shadowing? I'm shadowing just fucking school. talking. Meet them with their own game. Stamp it out, whatever it takes. How do you do? You're going to call me a nobody. I'm somebody. Yeah. Are you somebody? Are you going to call me a nobody? Are you somebody? You just called me a nobody. Are you somebody? Are you, are you somebody? Yeah. Amazing. Have a good day. OK, mate, we show you Have a mate. good day. Get stuck in. Let them see you're not putting up with it. It's hard, but you have to do it, because they're only going to get worse, and you can't allow that. Look at this shit in the tank, isn't you? Good one. You damn fools. Wisdom, wisdom. Um, listen, it is now time to step inside the future because we're going to be checking out tomorrow's headlines and today's Bots Village News. <laughs> okay, top stories tonight. Egg Gate continues. Deborah ain't happy. And Tom's made an observation. So, first up at 11.33 this morning, Chanel had something to show the other housemates. Are you sure Does everyone want to watch? Are you sure the smash? No. So, what yeah. logic did that make? You can't shatter it, it just bounces like that. But then, no. it was... The, the actual idea behind right, it was, no, if they get smashed, they'd know that it's from inside the house, not inside the house. Wait, 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 give me another one. You, you know, whoever smashes him is going to clean him, so I'm not cleaning shit. And if Seriously? it were me to go out, fucking smash his entire kitchen to pieces. Yeah, and then not one person will do all. anything. Why are you saying that, kid? They're all going to Because they're right. Yeah. Fair enough, I get the fucking point. That's another exit. Who's cleaning well, that? Well, who told them to boil you? But Why I'm not saying that. Who's I'm cleaning I'm that? But told them what I get angry. Told them to boil him. Rebecca. Rebecca. All right, Kieran, calm down. No need to get eggy. Right. Uh, anyway, at 12.47 this afternoon, Deborah listed more reasons for why she didn't come to the house, yeah? I'm just like, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not going to be victimised in this house. You know my trigger points are name-calling. I know people won't... I know nobody in this house can touch me. I am not a big bad wolf, I'm not a gangster, I'm not a gang gang, you understand? <laughs> But I <laughs> can turn, and that turn is very nasty, and that's what I don't want to come. I didn't come here for that. Yeah. And that's why I've never been way, one of them. Yeah, I would just bitch, 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 and and argue, argue, argue. And then you have people sitting on the fence. Fencing to me is just as bad as you know when they say guilty by association. And why do they call me a fencer all the time? Yeah, but you're not a fencer. Okay, <laughs> if you're a fencer, then Kieran's the CEO of it. <laughs> no, but it's true. No, it's true. And she huffed and she puffed and she... Well, you know the rest of the story. Uh, last but not least, at 1.17 this afternoon, something clicked in Tom's mind. <laughs> Have we noticed all the people have said there was a click in the, in the bedroom? Mm -hmm. There is no clip. No, there isn't, but they crea they're they creating create one. They're themselves. Yeah. It's really, it's really strange, but it's... It's kind of a, a theme that's been cracking with those. They put everyone, their insecurities onto other people, their ideas and stuff, and make it look like it's someone else is doing it. It's just someone who's really bad at arguing, really. Well, tune in later, because we're going to be discussing cliques and alliances with our panel and our studio audience. But for now, that was today's Bots Village News. <laughs> uh, coming up, we've got an exclusive look at our new house guest, and she deals with agony, so you don't have to. Trisha Goddard's on hand with her house of the patients. Yes, he loves it on a Tuesday. See you after this.
Brothers bit on the side. Sorry, sorry. Did someone say new house, mate? <laughs> it's a box exclusive. Here's the moment our potential candidates enter the house. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pick Me. Please give a warm welcome for your host, Marcus Bentley. Oh. Yes, it's a show you've all been waiting for, where three housemate hopefuls fight it out to join the Big Brother House. Oh. Who wins? The housemates decide. Lord and Chanel Kieran, the power is in your hands. On the other side of that wall, right next to you, are two lovely lasses and one mystery lad that are all vying to make the best impression. One of them will exit the house with absolutely nothing. But two of them will join the Big Brother house as brand new housemates. Come on, come on, guys. What are you making about potential candidates? Oh, I think this is going to be interesting. Who's the Irish, young Irish lady? The Irish one is Sav uh, Savannah. Savannah. Yeah. Now, if Savannah goes in the house, all the other blondes and nose is going to be out of joint. No. Oh. And Joe's going to hate her because she sounds like she can string a sentence together and she's been. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Nathan, do you think it is going to put a bit of a cat amongst the pigeonies? Definitely. Um, I do think Rebecca will be like, oh, who's this hot looking girl going to come off of my Kieran? Um, <laughs> my Kieran, my, my Kieran. Kieran. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's okay. If the guy goes in, I think uh, that could rub up uh, Lowton in the wrong way because it's another alpha male kind of guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so, Tom. Yeah, yeah so, who do I pick now? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jake? Um, yeah, I think the uh, Lowton will like the blonde girl. The good looking one. I mean, no, the. Uh... Oh, Jake, the insult. I didn't, I didn't even mean She's that. She's a person no, with I feelings. I didn't even mean that. The, the, the Irish one I meant. Savannah. Saying. Yeah, 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 Savannah. Not Isabel. No, not Isabel. How would you okay. like that if someone said that about your daughter? <laughs> 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 Oh, what about you lot? Are we looking forward to fresh blood? Yeah. You are shown. I want Savannah in and I want one of the blokes because we're getting more we want more drama. Do you'd like yes. to see Savannah and Sam yeah. in? Yes. You'd like to see Savannah and Sam? Who else? Yes. Barbara, what do you think, Barbara? Well, I think that Joe, the godfather, yeah. he'll have his nose put out if someone comes in, as you said, who's feisty, yeah, yeah. and we'll give him as A much bit of as it is. Yeah, yeah. What do you think, bro? Joe's a right grumpy old what's it? But <laughs> But well, her coming in now, yeah, we, they might get together and have a little, you know, chin wag. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> He said chin wag, <laughs> by the way, <laughs> wag. <laughs> For any women, uh, something a little bit different. Uh, listen, this is the highlight of my week. I'm not going to lie, guys, it really, really is. And do you know what? I have to pinch myself every time I do this. <laughs> Give me your hand, Trisha. Do you know what? The amount of times I've pinched myself, I've actually started to brew. You take that. Give it up. It's time for our agony on in. Lost your mind, pack somewhere, hang girl. On, hang on. Oh, have a little fiddle about. Oh, are you, are you happy? Yes. You in? Yes. You in? Yes. She's happy. Oh, she's had a lovely time. <laughs> Coming here, breaking my set. Sorry, Trisha, I dropped how one. are you, babe? <laughs> I just dropped one. So. <laughs> <laughs> Every Tuesday you do this to me. <laughs> You come on here, you make smutty remarks, and now you're breaking my set. You should be ashamed of yourself, Trisha Goddard. Um, right, listen, we have got to talk about probably the biggest feud uh, that's going on in there at the minute. It's Rebecca oh. and Joe. You you saw this coming yes. quite soon yes. on. Well, how do you think this is going to play out between them two now? It's going to go on and on and on. Rebecca's not going to let it go, and Joe needs for there to be a baddie in the house. He's got, you know, he's got all of this bad temper brewing in him. How convenient to have one person he can aim everything at. Well, let's have another little look at the wrath. Can we stop now? the argument now because it's getting personal? Damp, now, damp Back away from damp me damp now. Back away Listen from me, me right now. Back away from me now. You fucking silly fucking idiot. Back away 
from right. me right Don't this bring minute. My fucking dog Back away. It. You fucking silly idiot. Back away. Stop. Stop. Fucking idiot. You never ever personally Fuck. attack somebody's appearance. Fuck. Ever. Appearance. Don't bring my fucking daughter into it, you I silly will do. How would you feel? Cow. I'm somebody's daughter. Stop about daughters, I am somebody's fucking You're the daughter. One who just it How out. would you oh, feel? Shut oh, up, God, please. How would you, you feel? It. You shouldn't bring it into it, you deserve it. How would you feel? You deserve it. You fucking what? You can't talk about a daughter. You said that to me. You think I fucking deserve it? He has brought his daughter He into has oh fucking God. called me. Brother, a housemate should escort Rebecca to the bathroom. Good. Well done, John. You can't, you can't talk about daughters. Well, I mean, even though we've seen it, just watching it back, oh. it does bring back all those beautiful memories. <laughs> um, we actually did an online poll, actually, uh, last night on Twitter, and that resulted in 61% of you guys at home sided with Rebecca yeah. on that argument. Yeah. Um, and it's nice that we're able to do that, because in here it is split a lot of the time. Do, do you agree with that, then? I do agree with it, because, actually, Rebecca only said, how would you feel if somebody said that about your daughter? She didn't yeah, say... and in all fairness, she didn't bring she... in, bring up the daughter and start... A... She was making a point. She was making a point. But sometimes, and I'm going to say this very diplomatically, as parents, we often feel guilty if we haven't had the closest relationship, maybe, with a child that we think we should have had, and we become very hypersensitive. And so, let, me, let me just say, we are talking very generally we're talking here. We're not very directing generally. that towards no, Joe. No. But I know as a parent, you know, sometimes you're just... And especially, there's probably alcohol involved as well. Well, yeah, I think they had had a drink. Yeah. How do you think Rebecca is coping in there? I think she's unravelling by the minute. Yeah. I mean, every, she, she keeps going on and on. That voice, I don't know about you, but it's driving me crazy. It's driving me crazy. crazy you know. she, she keeps saying that the others are scared of Joe because of his status mm -hmm. in the house. Think... So it's like sort of the alpha leader, if you like. Yeah. Why do you think she's using words like that? I think they are scared of him, but I think there's this whole thing that somebody older should be wiser, and Joan isn't necessarily wiser. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> well, there you go. Someone's yeah. got the clap over there. <laughs> um, let's talk about Kieran. Um, he seemed to, from what I perceived, initially take Joe's side with the argument, yes. with what he could see, saying that she deserved Joe going at her for bringing up the daughter. You talked about Kieran and Rebecca last week. Mm -hmm. What do you think of their latest relationship status? There isn't say? a relationship. There isn't one. Uh, Rebecca thinks there's one, but I don't. Uh, Kieran is in there for himself. Um, and Rebecca's, Rebecca's kidding herself, you know. But they did, they did seem to make it up in the diary room afterwards. Do, mm, do I think Kieran's playing a game. And you've got to remember, this is... It's weird because he went in the house as her employee. Yeah. So he's bearing in mind, when all of this is finished, am I going to have a job oh, afterwards, yeah. you see? So there's all that playing into it. Well, we'll, we'll have to wait and see when they come out to see if he's still got that job. <laughs> um, we've got to talk about another hot pairing in there. We've got to talk about Hannah and Deborah. Now, Hannah received three nominations. Deborah mm. didn't receive any. What's your take on the whole one sister getting none, one sister getting none? Well, Hannah is the one who needles and needles and needles. Never have I heard someone singing use it as a weapon. When she sings... <laughs> Did you not hear me on X Factor? Yeah. <laughs> go another bad girl. Please. <laughs> But she is so aggressive. She uses her singing aggressively. She gets in people's faces. And on the surface of it, it's, inverted commas, only singing. But she really uses it as a weapon. I think there's a lot of aggression coming out. Well, it did kick off, obviously, between Hannah and Tom tonight. Let, let's have another reminder of it. But just for future references, I don't uh, mind you listening to the conversation, but it's a personal conversation. And if you want to be nosy, you're more than welcome to be nosy. That's it. So you don't need to be high. Again. You don't need to be high. Okay. Whatever, extra small, continue. Okay. She always goes personal, though, doesn't she? I don't go personal, I can't be asked. Why are these two clashing? I think they're both vying for extra camera time. You it, think? Ta it takes one to mow one. Oh! <laughs> so she's dishing it out. Yeah, yeah. Do you think Hannah did take it too far with the, with the small comment? Probably in hindsight, but it's all very well for us to sit back here. But remember, as one of two sisters... Yeah, I mean, now... crack the popcorn out. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> That's, That's it. That's what we do. We've made a career <laughs> off of it, us lot. Look. But anybody here who's got uh, female siblings, I don't know anybody here, I've got three sisters. Uh, trust me, girls learn to attack in the best or in the <laughs> worst way. And so she just went for it. I mean, you know, with hindsight, maybe she could have chosen a different word, but he annoyed her and that's the first thing that came out. And she knew it would hurt him. The boys said that she was taking nominations too seriously and obviously being put up for eviction. Can you see it from their point or do you think that's just an easy thing to say? They're a clique. 
I mean, they've all got each other's backs and they're like the cool guys going, yeah, yeah, you've got a problem, you know. So um, I think when you've taken on one of them, you feel you've taken on all of them, and that's quite intimidating. Yeah, no, I think we have seen that, to be fair. Yeah, I think yeah, we do yeah. see that. They yeah. have got each other's back. One of them in particular is Lowton. I mean, he seems to be involved in quite a lot of the mm. house confrontations that are going on in there. Let's have a little reminder of this one. Then we went through the girls. How long are you going to be Deborah? Joe, th Joe thought it was me. No, Joe thought it was you. Thought if he says me! It was, I told him it was never you. He said I've it, never fucking no, used it. It's such a fucking weapon. Stop. That's that man. Being bitchy. Shush. We had three people in our head, didn't we? Yeah. Who? Chanel. Mm -hmm. Hannah. Yeah. And you were brought up. Bullshit. I God, think it's Chanel. You know, I told him it wasn't oh you. Oh, my God, I'm 32 for Shut up. Years old. No, no, we told him it wasn't oh, you. No. Which takes it in our heads. We could be so wrong, because we could be getting screwed right now by someone. Oh. Everyone takes everything so up, isn't yeah. it? It's a fucking no, because he's out to get me. He's a fucking dickhead. That's why. Is it's it a task? That's why I told you this. Joe's a malicious, nasty bastard. No, no, because you know no. what we'll do. Tired talk. Fine, fuck me over then. Because all you're doing, if you ever raise that, is fuck yeah, screwing fine. me and him. Because I've been honest with you about what what we've just done. Right, now, let's talk about this. I'm just being honest with you. No, come on. You can't say something like that to Rebecca and think she's not going to kick off. Yeah. I mean, that was that was done on purpose. Do you think it is a, do you think it's a case of wooden spoon? Oh, I do think it, it, it was a bit of a wooden spoon. Let's spark it all up again. One thing I notice about the click, you notice they've even got their hair done in the same way now. <laughs> Seriously, how... It's like Lord of the Flies. <laughs> it's become very tribal. You know, they've all got the pecs going on now. They've all got the same hairstyle. It's like we're the cool guys. Let's, let's talk about Lowton because, like, obviously, Rebecca has said, you know, oh, the click are scared of Joe and yeah, all of yeah. this. You, you saw Lowton's face turn then. When he yes. said what he said, he was like, don't go tell Joe. Yeah, don't tell Joe that I've said it. Do you think that's because he wants to peacekeep or do you think he's worried about falling out with Joe? I just think he wants to make a, you know, a bit of a mess. He's having a bit of a stir. I think that all of those three guys are protecting each other. And Lowton's being protected from Ellie by being part of that crowd. You know, she's sort of like the groupie now, isn't she? She's sitting <laughs> right there on the edge. Um, I think Kieran's being pro protected from Rebecca. And I think little Tom's being uh, protected from everybody he ticked off when he was a big boss. <laughs> <laughs> so... You should do this for a living. I think I you will. Should. But I think I think oh, poor old Lowton, the stress is getting to him. We talk about the click of them three. Let, let's let's sit there and really think about it. In the house, mm. do you think it's more of a help or a hindrance for them in the house? Well, they think they're looking after each other and it's helping them. But I think if most I think most of the women outside the house who are actually voting can see the click for what it is. And when Lowton was one, remember when he first came in the house, he was very much with all the girls, wasn't he? Yeah. He was a, and we liked ladies him. man, wasn't he? He was a ladies' man, but he was sweet and kind and caring. And I think all of the girls liked him. I'm not sure how he's going to be perceived now. He's all part of the, yeah, we're the cool guys. The lads, the, lads, lads. Yeah, and the haircut. It, it doesn't do him any favours. <laughs> he's not doing him any favours in Treasures Opinion. Um, we've <laughs> and, got two brand new... Would you get new... your hair done like that? Oh, babe, I've had worse, let's be fair. <laughs> Come on. Again, I don't mean to bring it up again. Remember the extensions? Um, <laughs> we've, got, we've got two brand new housemates entering Ooh, the village. Yes. Now, we're going to be revealing one of them a bit later on, but two brand new housemates in that house as it is... It's going to be hard for them, for a start, yes. but second of all, how hard do you think it's going to be on our current lot? Really hard, because they're battle-weary at the moment. Rebecca is going to be scared of any new female. So is Ellie. Ellie's All Ellie's insecurity. I think Chanel has kind of created her own little persona, so I think in the end she'll be safe. I want to see how Raph behaves, because he is definitely playing a game, running from one side to the other. Sitting out there in the smoking group, talking to them, and then scuttling off to the others. Do you like say, it? I do. She <laughs> loves it! <laughs> do you know what? I and I love you. Oh, I love you. Yes. Give it up for our Trisha. <laughs> love her. Oh, she's had her say, but the only voice that really matters, no offence, love, uh, is yours. So, Trisha, who stays? You decide. You decide. Here's the numbers you need. This week, Chanel, Hannah, Joe and Rebecca all face the public vote. Who stays, you decide. From a landline, call 090 20 44 58 and add the number of the housemate you want to save. From a mobile, call 6 50 58 and add the number of the housemate you want to save.
For Chanel, add 02. For Hannah, add 06. For Joe, add 08. For Rebecca, add 14. Calls to the long number will cost 50 pence, plus your network access charge. Calls to the short number will cost 50 pence. Voting closes in Thursday's eviction show. Votes fast after lines close won't count. If you're watching on Catch Up after that or outside the UK, please don't vote. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. <laughs> We hope you have a nice day. Have a good day. Have a good day, guys. Have a good day. Have a good day. Yeah. Have a good day. Come on. Check it. Yeah, you don't love have a good day, don't you? <laughs> I love it. All right, we're going to be talking alliances and allegiances in just a moment with my beautiful panel. Uh, but now it's time for the hot, out of the oven exclusive you've all been waiting for. It's time for the reveal of the first brand new housemate going in to the big. And I can reveal, it's Savannah! <laughs> We've got an Irish house, mate! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Trisha, you oh. said you wanted to see uh, her in there. That, I just think it's wonderful news, especially for Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Nath, what are you making of our Irish beauty entering? Fireworks, man, fireworks. Yes. Oh, we yeah. love the fireworks! Jake, did you want her in? I want both the girls in me. I think the girls will cause more of a stir. I think the guy will just go in and fit in with a cool, like, laddie, clicky thing. So you want both the girls? Both who girls who so wants two it. girls? Put your hands up. You want two girls? Who wants a girl and a boy? Some people don't want anything, clearly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Trish, thought that. Um, listen, it's been three weeks. It's really flown by, to be fair. Uh, we've seen alliances form, we've seen friendships forged, uh, and maybe one or two rows, but... With the addition of two brand new housemates, it's all about to change. So I'm wondering how it's going to affect the friendships and the existing loyalties that we've got in the house. So, guys, let's have a mass debate. Um, <laughs> Trisha, um, <laughs> what? You love it. Um, what chance... <laughs> Put your hand away, girl. <laughs> Trisha, what chances, let's be honest, yeah, do you yes. think our newcomers have got against? with what we've already got in there, the friendships that are already forged. Do you think they can make friendships in the house at this late in the game? Friendships or alliances? I don't know if we're talking about real friendships. Um, I think with Savannah that she'll be seen as a strong person. So people will be seeking to make an alliance with her to get them through the next stage. If she's the popular... It's the, like the new popular girl at school. Everybody mm. wants to be in their gang. So I think she's going to find it easier... Um, depends who the second person is, what sort of journey they have. If it's the guy, it's going to be interesting with Loton and, and uh, the gang. The fact that he picked out Ellie is because he's looking for the weakest link. Oh, you think? He's like the lion who sees a little deer trotting behind the rest of the herd. Oh, I can take that one down and be part of the crowd. Uh, the other young lady, I didn't really get a sense of her, so Isabel. I'm not sure how... She, Isabel, I'm not sure how she would fit in or where she would fit in. OK. Nate, how do you think the, the housemates are going to act? Do you think they're going to welcome the chance to bring people into the group or do you think they're going to keep them at an arm's length? Some of them will welcome her, some of them. Like, Rebecca... And Charlotte, I don't see them welcoming Savannah. Oh, at really? All. Charlotte as well? Yeah. yeah, I don't think. Even, even if Barbara, Charlotte. Don't be horrible. She went, who's Charlotte? <laughs> don't be horrible. Keep up, keep up. <laughs> yeah, I don't think. Yeah, horrible, you are. <laughs> be horrible. <laughs> Paul, you've changed, Barbara. <laughs> um, Jake, do you think it is going to be a bit of an uphill struggle for the newbies? Is it, we're only three weeks in. Mm. We've put people in later yeah, in yeah. the series uh, before. Three weeks in is still quite fresh. Do you think they're going to have a problem on their hands? I went when I did the jungle. I went in late with Edwina. Mm. So for me, God bless I Edwina think, Curry. Oh, I love Edwina. <laughs> love Edwina. I think if you go in there and you're actually genuine, I was a genuine fan of the yeah. show when I went in there. Yeah. And I was kind of like, I almost took my autograph book in because I was like, what's going on here? And they were like celebrities. So I think if if Savannah's kind of been watching the show, she might go in there and be a little bit intimidated. She might not know who to talk to. Blah blah blah. Do you know what I mean? So. She, she might 
try not to stand on, uh, stand on people's toes. So I, I don't just... think she'll be intimidating. She didn't look like the sort of girl who. Yeah, would but be they all big the video up, didn't they? Yeah, but Trish, yeah. you know, they when all people the walk video in that up. house, they yeah. give it one thing, yeah. they do another. We're going to have to wait and see, yeah. to be fair, how yeah. she's going to do. Uh, let's talk about the friendships that are already formed. There seems to be two clear camps, as we've said throughout the whole show. We've got Chanel, Raf, Hannah, and Deborah on one side, and pretty much everyone else on the other side of the house. Trisha, this happens every single year with yes. Big Brother. We, we, we sometimes have two camps, we sometimes have 26 camps. <laughs> um, why does this or just happen? Just one very campus. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Why does this happen? It's society, isn't it? We always do that. We either use religion or politics or cool kids and not cool kids. It's just we're herd animals and we like to go with who we think we are most like. So it always happens. Nate, why do you think it is so fractured, pretty much? I know there's more on one side than the other, but it is a pretty much down-the-line fracture mm. that's going on in the um, house. Why, why do think, you think that's happening? I think it's split between guys who have been genuine and guys who are trying to look cool yeah. and thinking that they need to be a certain way. Like, Tom, the prime example, I don't think he's just been natural. I think he's trying to fit in with the cool, bigger guy in Lothan. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, uh, the Deborah, Hannah, Chanel, Raph, that feels more like... They've been themselves. Yes. You feel like they're being themselves in their circle, they can, but more of the cool kids, if, if we're going to call yeah. them that, yeah. they're all a bit acting up to try and fit yeah, in with each other. Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys think? Yeah. You disagree. Yeah. Oh, oh, don't disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Go for bid. I actually think that Chanel's kind of standing outside of the groups a little bit and outside of the clique, and that the new housemate and Chanel are going to get on really well. And you think I Savannah actually will get on think, well with Chanel? I think that. Rebecca's going to feel really threatened by Savannah mm. and straight away she's going to go in there and be over the top, nicey, nicey, and make friends with her so that she can keep Kieran. So you think Chanel's maybe sitting on the fence a bit? Jake, do you think if you went in there, would you be more... Oh, oh, yeah. oh, stop it, please. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a shower with a yeah. glass screen, you <laughs> <laughs> do you think if you were to go in there or anyone, do you think it's impossible to not be in a clique and you could just be a fence sitter and be friends with everyone, flick over from group to you group? You know We've what? We've seen it, but law is normally lie on one side or the other. You always get along with people better than others, do you know what I mean? But there's a fine line of getting along with someone and being nice to everyone. Like, you can be genuinely like, nice to people. If you don't mm. get along with them, don't go out there and try and make an argument. Mm. You don't have to sit on the fence. If you've got an opinion, say it. Yeah. But you're always, there's always going to be a clique. There is always going to be a group of lads and a group of girls that all get on. But it's just, it's just about finding the peace and being all right, do you know what it's I mean? It's like Raph. Raph's... Raph's cool. Yeah, he's yeah. cool. Yeah, he's do you yeah. think he is, though, Trisha? No, he's playing a game, yeah. but I genuinely think he's a, a, a nice lad. He's yeah, he's a nice not nasty. Guy. He's not, he's he hasn't got a bad he bone in He can float between the two quite easily, you Yes, think. he can. Yeah. And it's, it's interesting, the ones... That, my observation, the ones that don't... Oh, watch out, the Trisha question's going to be pulled out. <laughs> Uh, the ones that tend not to go for the lowest hanging fruit of language, <laughs> i.e. swear non-stop, versus the ones who can actually converse. And there's, they go into two different camps. Some of them just swear when they get angry. They lose the argument. Let, let's talk about the boys. Because, I mean, there is quite a strong male contingent in the house. We've seen lots of man love and man bonding, <laughs> which we love. Uh, they're comparing pecs. And also, when Loton cried last week, didn't if you notice, it was Kieran. He was the first one to offer that shoulder yeah, to cry yeah. on. Uh, and we've even had word today that Tom and Loton showered together. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm up for anything. Um, Nathan, why do you think... Normally, in Big Brother, we see a lot of the girls come together and yeah. girls stick together and girl code and this and that. This series, we're seeing the men are coming together and it's the boys against the rest of the world, basically. Mm. Why do you think we're seeing that this time? Um, Because I think, in a way, Tom and... K Kieran less so, but they kind of... Not not idolise Lotan, but kind of look like he's the big guy. Oh, kind of... I want to be with that big, the cool guy, you know? It's like, mm. like he's the... Lotan is the, the cool guy and they're in the background going, yeah! No, and that kind of person, <laughs> yeah. you know? The ones just find him going, yeah, I agree as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That used to be me. Um, <laughs> Jake, you love a bromance. Love I know a bro you love a bromance. Yeah, yeah. um, are we loving all the man love that's going on in there at the minute? You see, if it was genuine, yeah. I'd say yeah. Cos, like, if you genuinely get on with someone, it's nice to have that bond, do you know what I mean? But I think, knowing Lowton, he is a nice guy and he is, he is fun and people are drawn to him, but I I kind of get a feeling Kieran and Tom are drawn to him because they think he's quite... Yeah. He's yeah. Yeah. And he's I want there. him to be careful as well. I don't, I don't want him to think that they've got his back because I kind of think they'd stab him in the back if yeah. they got stabbed. Yes. Yeah. Well, listen, Kieran very, would. very quickly, um, we've got an eviction this Thursday. Who do you think's going, Jake? Joe. 
Rebecca's going to go. Think Rebecca, think. nice. Charlotte. Oh, no, OK. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, Rebecca. You think Rebecca as well, Trisha? Either Rebecca or Joe. You think Rebecca or Joe? What are we thinking? <laughs> Joe, Rebecca, Joe, Rebecca. Rebecca. Oh, it's pretty spit down here. Well, listen, that is it for tonight. Give it up for my panel and a fantastic audience. Uh, tomorrow it is Eviction Eve. Remember, Eviction this week is on Thursday. And then the video record us as required. Uh, I'm going to be joined by Jordan Banjo, Casey Batchelor, Luke Martin, and Reverend Cannon Annie stays here.